Rules of integration. In this video, we are going to continue with the power rule. You will find this on page 313 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. Find the following integrals. Okay, now if you look at the first one, just like in differentiation, we don't want the root and we don't want the variable to be in the denominator. We must take it up. And if we take it up, we get this. We're just getting it ready. So we didn't integrate yet. So leave the integral sign and also dx. Now we're going to integrate. Now remember, if, and I'm, I'm going to make it a bit bigger. <clears throat> Okay, there it is. So remember, if you, it's exactly, maybe sometimes it's easier to say minus half plus 2 over 2, and that will give you a half. Now, I, I just want to show you, so that there is exactly, so that half, I'm going to divide by that half. I think, and in the final version of the book, it will be correct, this step and this step must just swap, because then it, I give, get an half, and then, don't forget, a half is actually just multiplying 2 over 1. Then I will get this. Don't forget to put your plus C, plus C. And then you can take it back to, to that root. And just instead of saying x to the power of half, it's 2 square root x. Okay, let's look at this one. This is exactly the same. Now, can you remember, I like sometimes, especially in, that you don't make unnecessary mistakes. The, in differentiation, we subtract 3 over 3. In integration, we add 3 over 3. So that will be 5 over 3. Did you see there? Okay, so plus C. But I divide, so it's better to do it like this. Divide it by 5 over 3. And don't forget, divide by 5 over 3 means multiply 3 over 5. And that's where you got that 3 over 5. And you can again actually say, or... And if you want to put it back in that root, that's the 3, that's the 5, and that's the plus C. And that's your final answer. But it doesn't matter. You can leave it in one of that forms. And if you come to this one, don't forget to first simplify this. So get it out of the root and then add your exponents. Okay, so it's 2 and a half or 5 over 2. That was 5 over 2. So plus that 1, 2 over 2, that will give you 7 over 2. That's why I divide by 7 over 2. And don't forget to multiply by that, um, that reciprocal, which is then 2 over 7. Okay, and then I can put it back. Or, that's why or, this will also be correct, or I can put it back in this format. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number A. I want you to do number B, and I want you to do number E and F. And again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, integrate. 1 over, and it's x3, and I integrate to x. So always you write it like this. <clears throat> so if I'm going to get it ready, I'm going to say it's x, it's a third, but because it's going up, it's minus a third dx. And now I integrate. And if I integrate, I'm going to say it's minus a third, can I just show you, minus a third plus 3 over 3, which will be 2 over 3. Okay, so that will be x, 2 over 3, divide 2 over 3. Okay, so don't forget plus c. And if I multiply with this reciprocal, then it's 3 over 2, and I can just put it back there, and this will be, oh, let's make that line longer, uh, there will be the 3, 
and there will be the x to the power of 2 plus c. So any of that formats will be correct. Okay, now the next one, number b, I think I can fit b still here, uh, and this, and I can even, so it's x to a third, it's a little bit small on the video, but it's a third dx. But now this one is actually easier than the, the first one. I should have swapped this two. Maybe I'll do it in the final version. Now, because I already did the video, I'm going to leave it like that. But then, this is just going to be x. So it's that, I'm just going to say 1 over 3. This one I'm going to do like that. Plus 3 over 3. And I divide, that will be 4 over 3 plus c. And that will be x. So that's that's going to be 3 plus 1. So it's 4 over 3. And if I multiply by the reciprocal, I come, it's going to be 3 and there's going to be the 4 plus c. But I can also write it as 3. I can put it in. There's my x. It's a cube root. There's the 4 there's the 4 plus C, and that will be my final answer. Okay, I'm just going to make space. Number E, okay, in this one, now in this one, it's almost like I first must simplify, do you see? Now always, First take it, uh, I'm still, I didn't, I didn't integrate, so it's x, and I'm making it a little bit longer, and x to a half, and that will be, it's 1 plus a half, so it's 1 and a half, or 3 over 2 dx, and now I'm going to integrate, so it's x, it's that 3 over 2 plus Okay, remember the denominator is 2, so 2 over 2, so plus 1, so that will be 5 over 2. It's always easy if you write it like that and then simplify, plus c. So I'm going to say it's x, 5 over 2, and if I want to, okay, I can leave it like that first. No, I want to already multiply with the reciprocal. Okay, so if I multiply with the it's 2 and there's the 5 plus c, so that's correct. Or I can say 2 and I can bring my root x5 over 5 plus c. And that's my final answer. Okay, and then the last one, number f. Let's just make space. Okay, x or over x dx. So it's x, it's a quarter, okay, it's because there's one over x, that's one, and it's dx. Don't forget, always the way of writing, especially in this formal mathematics, very important. Okay, so this is going to be x. Then it's a quarter minus 1. It's actually a quarter minus 1, which is 4 over 4 dx, which is actually oh, it doesn't matter. Which is actually now what is this pen I'm doing? I'm just going to get my pen for correct. Okay. Which is actually x minus 3 quarters. Okay, I did not integrate it. Now, as soon as I integrate, I'm not going to write anymore uh, the, d, the integral of the dx. So I'm going to say x minus 3 over 4 plus 4 over 4. And that's a quarter. So I divide a quarter plus c. Don't forget that plus c. So that's going to be x to a quarter, and if I multiply by the reciprocal, it's just going to be, I don't have even to draw that line, so it's just going to be 4 
plus C, and I can leave it like that, or I can say 4, and that's the fourth root of X plus C. And that will then be my final. But you can either leave it like this, or you can leave it like that.